So come into a comfortable cross leg position. If you have something you want to sit up on, you can grab it. And either close your eyes or take a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. And begin to slow down your breath. Just tuning into what's here now, whatever you're noticing in your body and your being. And consciously welcoming yourself as you are. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus, and feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you throughout your practice. So let's start with a side bend. We'll take the right arm up and over, lean onto your left hand or elbow, but try not to tip over so you stay grounded through both sit bones. And then begin to circle your right arm back behind you as far back as you can bringing a yawning quality, that full expression into each stretch. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side bend, and then curve your way around through center all the way over, opening up into a side bend on the other side, big yawning reach. And then circle your left arm back, as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side stretch. Curve around through center all the way over. Take one big circle. When you get to the beginning, curve around through center, maybe reaching a little further out, all the way over, one big circle. When you get to the beginning, curve to center, and then let's stay there, folding over the legs in whatever way you need to support yourself. Could be on your hands, could be your elbows, could be letting go towards the floor. Hmm. What is there to let go of here? And then back up to center. We'll bring hands to the floor behind us. Fingers facing forward, roll your shoulders back and elbows back. Lift the chest, take it as high as you can, sternum rising up. Mm, like a balloon in the heart floating up towards the ceiling. And release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin, rounding your back. Roll your way back up. Hmm. Let's recross the legs. Other leg in front or on top, sitting tall, drop your right ear over to right shoulder and press down through the left shoulder. 
exploring the different parts of your neck. If you lift or lower your chin or move your head just a little bit, you might bring the sensation to a different part of your neck, finding what's interesting. And then rotate chin to chest, come over to the other side, both shoulders drop, but now even more through the right side. Rotate chin to chest, come back to the first side and then go back and forth. Half circles or three quarter circles, you might lift your chin a little bit. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace your fingers behind your head and let your elbows hang down, stretching the back of your neck. Hmm. And then release the arms, head floats back up. And hands to the floor behind you, fingers facing forward, shoulders and elbows roll back, lift the heart. A little bit higher, last moment, and then release. Come up, hands to knees, round back. Roll your way back up. Let's bring the feet to the floor, hip width apart. Shift your hands to the floor in front of your feet, and then take a gentle rock front to back. Try and have your feet and knees pointing straight ahead so you are getting over the center line of your foot, probably the tighter part of your foot, stretching the toes as you go forward calves, ankles, Achilles tendon as you go back. And then drop the heels, lift the hips, shift your weight back to hang in ragdoll. Take any arm position, any movement. If a little sway or shake out helps you, you might Move around a little bit, encouraging release through the upper body. And then plant your hands near the front of the mat, stepping back, coming into a high push-up position. Feel the connection between your head and your heels. Core engaged, whole underside of the body lifting. And then shift your weight forward to lower down, low push-up. Come into your back bend, and this could be as low or high as feels right for you. Little baby cobra, just kind of testing the waters. Coming into a deeper cobra or up dog. And any movement you want to take here, thinking of each pose as an opportunity to explore. What's it like to be in your body in this shape now? And then back to down dog, hips high. And take your time getting into this first down dog. Again, movement, or you could explore with just letting your awareness travel through your body. What are you feeling? 
What are you noticing? Fine tuning in all the ways you know, applying the tips and tricks you've learned about your body, about the shape. <sighs> And then drop your knees and sink back to child's pose, releasing hips to the heels, forehead to the floor, surrendering into a good rest, letting go fully. And you get to choose what you do, what you don't do, when you rest. And your rest can be a good place to reestablish your intentions for your practice, to come back to slow breath, come back to presence. Let's lift up through table, come back through down dog, and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold, let your head release fully. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down, standing tall, mountain pose. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Let's take five deep breaths in a good resting pose, whether that's down dog, child's pose, sitting, something else. One more deep breath here. back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward inhaling flat back exhale fold inhale up to standing exhale arms press down again inhale arms high exhale fold <coughs> inhale lengthen Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. This time from down dog. Take your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Take a big step forward. High lunge. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hips low. Keep tuning into your breath, slowing it down. Feeling right where you are. One more breath here. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square and with the upper body 
Letting go like ragdoll. Let your head hang. Let your neck release. Stretch that left leg as straight and long and high as you can. Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Sink low, deep bend in the front leg. Straight, long back leg. One more breath. Release, make your way to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, you might just step back, feeling what you are doing, whatever you're choosing to do right now. From down dog, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in, and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times. Take it a little higher and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Arms up. Hips low. Feeling both grounded and expansive, dynamic and at ease. One more breath. Tip forward, standing splits. Square off the hips. Keep going. Can you keep looking for more? Length, space, full expression. And more surrender. Ease, letting go. Last breath. Step back. Warrior one, drop the back heel, arms up. Settle in. One more breath here. Release, make your way back to down dog. Feeling what you do. And then settle into your resting pose, whatever that is right now. One more deep breath in and out. Let's come back through down dog. And step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold, let your head release fully. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's bend the knees and come into chair, Utkatasana. Can you find the place where your weight is even between your toes and your heels? Hips go low, but head reaches so high, going towards a straight, long spine. Shoulders drop down as the fingers reach up. 
One more breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, shift forward and find your balance, squaring off the hips, connecting the end points. One more breath here. Step back, warrior one, inhale. Release through your movement transition back to down dog. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Making all the little adjustments you know to make. Working with what you understand, what you're capable of doing right now. And then feeling how it is, welcoming how it is. Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one, release. Make your way to a good rest. The rest being as important as the effort, coming back to your center. Last breath here. Let's come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms up. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, chair, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, step or hop back, lower down, up dog or cobra, back to down dog, right leg sweeps up, step forward, high lunge, arms up, warrior three, one breath. Step back, warrior one. From here, let's come into eagle arms. Right elbow on top. Lift the elbows, lift the chest, come into a little upper back arch, but still a deep bend in the front leg. Nice long lower back by dropping in the tailbone. Shift your weight forward. Come onto the toes of that back foot and then step into eagle, Garudasana. Knee on top of knee. If you can, hook your ankle around your calf, do so. If it doesn't reach, just hug it in close. Last breath here. Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Take your time getting steady. When you're ready, extend the left arm high. Supporting leg can be bent. You might grab a block for your supporting arm. How does this work for you now? Last breath here. 
Let's try and come into revolved half moon. You might start to lift the right arm as you square your hips. Airplaning around, eventually bringing left hand to the floor or a block. Right arm up towards the ceiling. You're going towards straight long lines. They may not be straight, it's okay. Go in the direction. One more breath here. Release both hands down. Take a short step back, pyramid. And we'll get set up for revolve triangle. You may want to grab a block for this. So the left hand will either be on the right foot, ankle, shin, or a block directly on the inside or outside, or the floor directly on the inside or outside of that front leg. Have your right hand start at your lower back. See if you can draw your right hip back so hips are square. When you're ready, extend right arm up. So even though both feet are on the floor, this is kind of a balancing pose. You might notice it's a bit wobbly. Gaze down will be probably the easiest for balancing. If you want to challenge, you could look out or up. How much can you take in? There's so much going on. If it feels overwhelming, can you feel that you are breathing, that you are touching the floor? Last breath here. Release, take your time, make your way back to down dog. Feel what you're doing as you go. Just one thing at a time, feeling where you are now. That's all you need to do in this moment. And then when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. One breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Step back, warrior one. Eagle arms, left elbow on top this time. Being here. We do have other things we're going to do, but right now it's just this. Lifting the heart, dropping the tailbone, feeling your feet grounded. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot. Eagle, Garudasana, knee on top of knee. And your face be relaxed and your breath be steady when you're doing this, when you're feeling this. Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Mm. Expanding past the tips of the fingers, past the top of the head. Modifying or adjusting in whatever way you need so you're working with the body you have, how it is now. Let's start to transition to revolved half moon, maybe lifting the left arm before you lower the right. Squaring off hips, lifting through the left arm, going towards a straight long line. It may not be straight. Towards a straight long line from your torso through your back leg. They may not be straight, it's okay. Being where you are, feeling how it is. Last breath here. Release both hands to the floor. Take a short step back. Pyramid getting set up for revolve triangle. Right hand on the foot, ankle, floor, or a block. On the inside or outside of the front foot, draw that left hip back. Left arm reaches high. So much happening. How much can you take in? 
At the very least, can you feel that you are breathing? Last breath here. Release, make your way back to a good rest. And let go of all of that. Let's come on to hands and knees, tabletop. If you want to pad your knees, you're welcome to. We'll set up for thread the needle twist. So from hands and knees, lift the left arm up, and then curl from fingertips down, thread it through right behind your wrist, and keep going until you come onto your shoulder inside of your head, and then push the right hand into the floor or into the bottom forearm. Gently release, unwind, back to neutral. Take a few rolls through the spine, arching and curving on your own time. Hmm, back to neutral. When you're ready, right arm lifts up. Curl from fingertips down, thread it through, and then keep on going until you come onto your shoulder and side of your head. Push the left hand into the floor or into the bottom forearm, opening up through that top shoulder. Mm. Let's release, unwind, nice and slow, finding your way to neutral, and then take a few rolls through the spine, arching and curving on your own time. might come back through down dog. Let's come all the way to sitting. Extend the legs out. You can take the flesh of the sit bones back, inch the heels forward, and then fold over the straight legs using your hands to support your folding. So that might be hands on the feet, might be something like a strap around the feet, could be hands on the floor. What gives you the most support as you fold? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, maybe fold a bit deeper and keep checking for reactivity. Shoulders down, face relaxed. Can you be at your edge? and be at ease. If the answer is no, maybe you've gone beyond your edge. Can you back out just enough so you can find your center, find your breath?
Mm. Inhale to look up. Exhale, release. Let's come into Gomukhasana, cow face pose. We're gonna take the right leg on top of the left. And for this pose, we wanna try and get knee on top of knee. So you might scoot your feet further out to the sides or further back towards your bum. A couple ways of making this easier on your body if this is not immediately working for you are to sit up on something or do this with a straight bottom leg or both or find your own way in. Ideally, the right sit bone is grounded. If that's feeling light, try and drop it down. And to help with that, we'll take a little twist. So bring your left elbow across to the outside of the right knee, right hand into a fist and push down. So that's gonna help ground the legs and give you an opportunity to twist. Lengthen your spine as you rotate. Hmm. One more breath here. Keep the legs as they are and release the upper body around to the front. Let's take eagle arms, right elbow on top. Put a little pressure between the elbows like you're gonna pull them apart, spreading the rib cage, spreading the back. So your back is nice and long and wide. Sit bones grounding, head lifting, rib cage spreading. And then release. Interlace fingers behind your back. Open up the chest. And fold forward. And this could be just dropping your head. Could be reaching arms up and back away from you. Hmm. Release, let's come up, lean back, unwind and switch. Other leg on top. Scooching, knee on top of knee as best you can, making whatever modifications might help you. And then right elbow across, left hand into a fist, pushing down, lengthen and twist. Being curious inside the pose. What are you noticing? What are you feeling? Even if this pose is new to you, can you bring all that you know about your body, about similar shapes, to fine tune? left elbow on top for eagle arms, pressure between the elbows, spreading the rib cage, spreading the upper back. Still sit bones grounded, lengthening up away from that. unwind, interlace fingers behind the back, other thumb on top, open up through the chest and then fold any amount, whatever amount you're able. Lean back, unwind, and take a little windshield wiper side to side. Let the knees flop one way and the other. A little massage to the outer hips as you're on one leg. And then let's come back onto our backs. Bring your knees to your chest. 
take a circle or rock here, massaging the sacrum, lower back. Drop your feet to the floor and get set up for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel. Make sure your feet are right under your knees. And then press your feet down. Lift your hips as high as they will go. Interlace your fingers behind your back. You can kind of rock side to side to shrug your shoulders underneath you. Spreading the upper back and lower back away from one another. out of your way, roll down, and rest with back flat. Let's take happy baby, grab the soles of the feet on the inside, press your knees towards the floor, maybe a little rock side to side. You could explore straightening your legs a little or a lot. Drop your feet back to the floor and let's cross the right ankle above the left knee. Reach your hands through, grab the left leg and hug it in as close as you can. Stretching the right outer hip. As you do this, can you drop your chin so the back of your neck is a little bit longer? Can you drop your shoulders? To release, drop the left foot to the floor, straighten the right leg up, flex and point your foot a few times, circle your ankle a couple times, and then keeping your right leg more or less where it is, straighten the left leg along the floor, and then open the right leg out to the right, just at a slight angle, you can support your leg however it works for you. <sighs> Bring this straight right leg up and across for a spinal twist. You might have your left hand grab your right foot. If that's out of reach, use a strap, bend your knee, or hold somewhere else. Take it all the way across. And then roll open through the right shoulder, drop down through the right hip. Kind of similar to revolve triangle. <laughs> it's like revolve triangle fell over. You can Add a quad stretch to this if you like. Your free hand, your right hand, can reach down for your free foot, your left foot, drawing that in. back onto your back, bring your knees in, little circle or rock, and shake it out, release, get ready for the same thing other side, and drop your feet to the floor, and cross your left ankle above the right knee, reach your hands through, grab the right leg, hug it in close, how much can you let go here, what is there to release here?
release. Drop the right foot to the floor, straighten the left leg up, flex and point your foot, circle your ankle, and then straighten the right leg along the floor, open the left leg out to the left in the way that feels right for you. We each get to choose how we do these poses. Maybe different than the way I'm doing it or the way you did it last time. Bring it up and across, spinal twist. Maybe you hold your foot, a strap, your calf. Leg could be straight or partly straight. Take it all the way over and then roll open through the left arm. Drop down through the left hip. And we can learn about different poses in different poses. So here, can you learn something about revolved triangle? How is it similar? How is it different? Is there a way you can feel something that was inaccessible in that shape here now and apply it next time? You're welcome to add that quad stretch if you like. Roll back onto your back, bring your knees in, a little circle or rock, maybe a shake out with your legs, you might shake out your arms. Ah, and just check in with your body. What's needed for you to feel complete in this practice? Is there a last pose or stretch or something you're wanting to feel complete? Take your time with anything that you want to do before coming into Shavasana. Could be a yoga pose, could be some self-massage, could be just some movement, something you're making up in this moment. <sighs> you want to empower yourself to tune into your intuitive healing. And eventually come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Oh. Letting go. Letting go of all the doing.
slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, and eventually stretching out long. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. And come to a comfortable cross-legged position. Bring hands together at the heart. And just take a moment to silently thank yourself for your practice. For your commitment to taking good care of yourself. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today.